Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are so excited to have our friends from the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County, and we have a new friend here joining us today, Ms. Karen Christensen. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So, I'm excited. Yeah, we're excited to have you here for the first time. You're, yes. you're here for the first, first time. First time. So, yeah. So cool. Um, tell us in what ways you have been involved with the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County. Yeah, I'm relatively new with our direct involvement, involvement with the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we've other organizations that we've done work with me and my family have worked with them like Access Community Health, United Way, Madison Community Foundation, Downtown Rotary. So we've always kind of known what's going on but recently we've been totally psyched about what's going on down there. Cool and, and what exactly about the Boys and Girls Club um, got you involved or got you interested in helping out? You know uh, to be honest with you the race to equity report kind of gave us a whoa we got to do something. We got to look into this a little bit further. And then Alex G's Justified Anger Group um, kind of kept us involved. And then it was social media. I got connected with Michael Johnson and it, we got in a conversation which led to a meeting which led to a tour. And the tour of Taft Street was the thing that went bang. You know, it was the raw, honest work that these folks are doing with 90 to 150 kids when they get out of school and show up and get a warm meal and are taken care of in a safe environment. The, it's, the, it's the raw work that gets done there that did it. And that's what kind of gets you excited yeah, about Yeah, it was very involved. exciting. That's awesome. Talk a little bit about your involvement with the new um, uh, up and coming teen center. Well, that's a two part story. The, the tour started it, mm -hmm. of course. You know, you go around there and you see where the kids see it, get a nutritious meal from mm -hmm. these lovely ladies that have been doing it for years. Mm -hmm and then they disperse and they can go make music, they can dance, tutoring, studying, um, hanging out, and they can make art. It's just amazing. And during the tour, the staff showed us that the second floor of Taft Street was going to go through renovations because there was an obvious miss. Mm -hmm. There was, you know, I have five kids and to survive the middle school, high school years is kind of tough. So the teens wanted a space where they could get away from the little ones. Sure. So there's a, a plan to renovate uh, a space for them to chill out. And then a big miss was the fitness center. So there, the other renovation plan is a, a cardio machines, weights, mats for everyone. So then it even expanded to possibly serving seniors. And, and so every year, my family, the five kids and I, um, and my husband, Craig, we decide of a project or a nonprofit, we talk about it, and then we see Christmas morning where we could give, give. it's small giving, but give to. And so the fitness center is the program that we want to give to for Christmas this year. Very cool. Yeah, so you're, you're very connected here in this community, Boys and Girls Club. Um, and uh, tell us a little bit about what encourages you to stay connected and stay involved. Yeah, very simply, it's my five kids that keep me connected. Uh, Craig and I made a absolute promise to each other that we would raise five kids that give back to the community, mm -hmm. that are compassionate, great people, and just model the way so that when they grow up, they do the same thing. So you're encouraging your kids to be involved and, and, uh, and give back to the community as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And how do you encourage, how would you encourage others uh, who might be watching right now to get involved specifically with Boys and Girls Club? Well, Boys and Girls Club is just so exciting to me right now, particularly since the results of the AVID TOPS uh, report came out that uh, uh, the kids that uh, the Boys and Girls Club are working with in our schools and at the locations um, are getting extra tutoring. They're doing well in school and they are prepared for college. No one can disagree with giving to that. So I encourage everyone to go down there and see what's happening, learn about it. It's measurable, they are accountable, and they're making a big difference. That's exciting. That's awesome to give kids the chance to, uh, who may not otherwise have the support that they Absolutely. need to, to be able to succeed and go to college. Why is it important for nonprofits um, to create a diversity of partnerships in the Madison community? Well, we, we are involved in a lot of organizations. And, you know, nonprofit or for profit, to be honest, it doesn't matter in mm -hmm. that respect because what, what you see is best practices. And the more everyone's involved with each other, you get best practices you learn best practices, you, they're measurable, mm -hmm. 
And you don't recreate the wheel also. But our favorite part is you learn about different cultures in our communities, all different kind of cultures mm -hmm. in our communities, things that you wouldn't normally be exposed to. So the more diversity, the better, the better human beings. Awesome. Karen Christensen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Boys and Girls Club of Dane County, check them out. And we will be right back with our good friend, Jenny, from Inspiration Speaks. It's all here on Talk of the Town. Don't go away.